Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about what you should do as a software developer if you're not very smart. So let's get into it. And the question in question was pretty much that. Frederick, what should I do? I don't, I'm not very smart. I, I'm a software developer, but I don't know what to do because I'm not very smart. And the short answer is you can join the club. I mean, this YouTube thing is working pretty well out for me. I mean, I, I'm basically sitting in a bathtub here in my spare time talking without any editing or anything like that. And just playing absolutely horribly mu horrible music, historically, because not, not, not any longer. And this is going out well. Imagine what you could do if you actually try to do something with this. Huh? You can do that. Learn some coding, sit in a bathtub, talk about stuff. It's, it works. It works really, really well. But if that's not your, you, not your cup, cup of tea, I suppose that you will have to consider whether or not you're actually stupid or like if you're not very smart or if you just have a low self-esteem or maybe you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Because that's, the, some, that's something that is a little bit of a, well, I'm not, it's, it, there are many, many people who have low self-esteem in software engineering in many regards, but I suppose that this is one of the most common ones that I see in people who are less experienced. Even in the people who are more experienced, but it's more common to see it in junior developers where you feel like you're stupid. And this is the big secret. Are you ready? Because I'm going to tell you a doozy of a secret. Everyone. Everyone is stupid in the beginning. Everybody feels this way. All of us. Every single one of us. Because what you are literally trying to do when you become a software developer is to learn something that is so complicated, so vastly obscure or arcane to most of this planet's people that they don't have to. That's literally what you're trying to do. You're literally trying to master something that most people just look at. It's just magic. I keep on being surprised over and over at how many people come up to me or state things on Twitter or like other social media networks where they are surprised over that. Oh, Google is so powerful. Oh, they're, or Cambridge Analytica. Or Facebook is measuring, is tracking our data. And I kind of go, isn't this fucking common knowledge to absolutely everybody? I didn't have to have a the Trump election scandal and like the this thing happened to know that this was going on. And I'm pretty sure that most of the developers in the, watching this would kind of feel the same way. Kind of go, duh. But this is the thing. This is the thing. You, you are in a world, like as a software developer, you are literally in a world where everybody around you knows this stuff. It's just that you forget that this is, you are in this tiny little group of people. It feels like the software community guys, IT, the IT community, it's not very big. There are so many bit larger industries out there. And if we're just looking at the normal average yo, yo or Jane people that inhabit most of the plan, they have no idea what you do. They have no idea about this. So if you're, if you are a software developer, just by being a software developer, odds are that you're not as dumb as you think that you are because there are people who don't even understand what you do. You could not even explain it to them or they wouldn't be able to grasp the basic concepts of programming even, even if they tried, most likely because they're not interested. Of course, everybody can learn programming if they really want to, but that's why I'm trying to get you to understand that maybe you should cut yourself some slack here. Because I'm, as I said, I'm pretty sure that you're not as stupid as you may think. But if you really do feel that you are slower or these sorts of, if you have these sorts of anxieties, I think it's extremely important to, uh, for you. This is one of the reasons why I argue that one of the most important things that you can do as a software developer, especially in the beginning at the, at the very least, well, while you might be feeling these insecurities, is to have a work environment where you have a collaborative spirit in like a good office culture, if that makes sense. Working with team members, things of this nature, is very, very, very useful for you. Working alone is one of the worst things you can do for your self-esteem and your personal growth. And if, if you can get into that sort of environment, then 
open up to people, talk to people, try to make meaningful connections with other developers. And you will see that there are so many people out there who feel just as stupid as you do. And some of them you're going to look at and you kind of go, how can you feel stupid? How can you feel dumb? You are so smart or you're so talented, you're so good, you're so senior. Guys, I feel stupid every day at work. I have tons of stuff that I feel like, oh, I don't, I'm not smart enough. I don't get this. I don't get, I don't, something's wrong and I don't understand. I need to talk to one of my coworkers to see if they, we can rubber duck a little bit and see if we can figure it out together because I'm not smart enough to figure it out on my own. This happens all the time and there's nothing weird about it. It's everyday life. This is the life of a programmer. You are literally, as I said, going down a route where most people are not willing to go down because it's it's too complicated and if you stick by it and you emotionally make it through this by talking to people sharing your burdens listening to other people and just looking around a little bit look up from your screen and look at the other people around you and you'll see that most people have the same sort of anxieties if you do that and keep on going this feeling will go away i promise you it won't ne it will never be completely gone but it, you will be able to deal with it so what i want you to take away from this is that everybody's stupid everybody feels stupid in the beginning of things and if you stick with it for long enough you will stop you will feel less stupid you will continue to feel stupid because the crap like the IT industry, like the, all, the area of things that you could be learning from is so vast that you will never learn everything. You will always go to a conference or go to a meeting or something where someone comes in and just gives you something in your lap and you kind of go, what the hell is this? I've never seen this. I don't know what this does. And it's completely natural because there are so many tools and languages and concepts and theories and stuff going around that you will never learn it all. And that you be okay with that because everybody is the same. Some people are good at some stuff and some people are good at other stuff. And I promise you that odds are that you're being a little bit tough on yourself. And if you just connect with some people, socialize a little bit and share your stories with people, then odds are that you're going to feel better about yourself. And I mean, if that doesn't work, you can learn some basics and become a YouTube star. Have a great day.